Welcome to our lesson for today. We are still focusing on systems technology and now we are going to look at the hardware components. Now the first hardware components that are very important is to know your hardware for your input. Remember input, you are entering into a computer so you need to know different types of devices that you can use for input. Now what is hardware before now we can talk about these input devices? Your hardware are your physical components of a computer. Now these physical components would have a port. Now a port which will enable your hardware component to attach to it. And you'd also have some network ports which is an example of a port. USB port, an example of a port, as well as a firewire port. Now these ports will allow your input device to be attached so that you can be able to use it. But we know our common input device, which is a basic keyboard and a mouse, would use your USB port. Now the older USBs or the older USB port, so we'd call where you can insert your mouse or your keyboard, we used to call them your PS2, which would call a PS2 mouse or a PS2 keyboard. Now, what is a connector? Now, a connector would attach itself to a cable of the hardware. Now, remember your port is there and you need this connector so that it can allow this input device to be connected to this computer and you will be able to use it. So these are the terms that you really need to understand whenever you start thinking of your input device because you can never use or you it, it will be um, uh, difficult to use a device that is not connected to your computer. In some way it needs to be connected whether by cable or it can be wireless. Now what is input? Remember we spoke of data, we know data is raw, but now in terms of input, input can come in different types of data. Now this data, we call it a collection of, of unprocessed text. It can be text, it can be numbers, it can be images, and it can be video or audio. Now it doesn't mean that when you use input device, it has to be one specific input device. You've got different devices which are used to input, whether it's audio, whether it's sound, whether it's video, you know, all of these examples of these pictures show the different types of um, input that can be entered into a computer, obviously using a different input device. Now, we have instructions. Now, what are instructions? Now, in order for you to use your input device, some programs need to be in your computer. Now, we normally would call them instructions, but there's different software that would come in with your input. So here we have instructions, which are programs, commands, and user response. Now, these instructions, basically they either instruct your computer what to do, how to perform, and how to control the hardware in terms of using these devices. Your um, commands or user response would be when you respond to a specific command given or a response to a computer in order to perform a specific action. You obviously use your input device to be able to give instructions or commands to your computer. And now what is an input device? Now looking at more input devices, We've got different types of input devices because we don't have the same types of computers. If you remember, we've got your desktop computer, we've got your laptops, and now these devices use different types of input. For example, on your computer, your keyboard would be separate, your mouse would be separate. But in a laptop, your keyboard is built in together with your screen. All right, so we call this a built-in keyboard, and the one on the desktop would be an external keyboard. And then we also have your optical mouse, where you get your wireless or your wired. 
you can see we've got your mouse there with a cable remember it means it needs to have a connector so that it can be connected to a port and then you also have a wireless mouse where you don't need to physically connect it to your computer now these are some of the basic input devices that we were able to discuss but later on we can look at and explore more other types of input devices that you can use with your computer thank you for joining us